Gamer Lon here, and I thought that I would show you how to get Monkey Island 3 up and running with Scum BM. Scum BM is a program that will allow you to run certain classic graphic point and click adventure games, provided that you all already have their data files. You get their data files from the CD ROM that you bought or the floppy disk that you bought in the store. This is the Scum's home address right here, I guess. If you want to check it out, I'll put the link to it in the show more section of the video. But what you do is you go to this right here where it says downloads and click on it. If you go down here, it gives you a download button. So you download this right here. That's what you do. You click the download button. Which I'm not going to do because I already got it downloaded. And after you get Scum BM downloaded and installed. Which you're going to have to do that on your own. You want to add a game. So it shows you here how to add a game. And this screen you should get right here. If you want to you go to add game. It says your game will run more s smoothly if you copy all the files from the original disk, whether floppy or CD, into a folder on your hard drive. You can s see which folder you need for each game on the data files page. Okay, so you click this right here. You go to their data file page. That's what this is. Let's see. You want uh, uh, we're hunting for Curse of Monkey Island right here, and it'll tell you what you need. You need rescue folder with content from both CDs, and it tells you the files that you need to copy. So after you get that done, you go. I guess you go to the next step. Which is to click on add the game button on the right hand side of the launcher, which is this right here. And the third step you need to do this is you will now be presented with a file browser. You should use this browser to locate the directory in which the folders from your games disk are located double click on the name of the directory to get into it and use the go up button to go back up one level once you are in a correct folder click the choose button so this is what it will look like right here Okay, they're using Lure of the Tempest, which I'm not going to use, but that's what you do. So the next thing you'd want to do is step four, I guess. If Scum BM detected the game correctly, it will now display a dialog box which lets you choose various settings about the game including the name that appears in the main window of the launcher there are six tabs full of settings to change and these are discussed later on in the configuration section which I'm not going to go over but you don't need to change any of them to finish adding your game. Just click on OK button. So this is what you'd get right here. This is what you should get. Click on the OK button. Now when we play, when I show you Monkey Island 3, this will say Windows and not DOS. So this does support different systems. I think it even might even support Commodore 64. And finally, ta-da, you've added your first game to Scum MB to play. It now just select the game you want to play and click on the button. 
This is what it'll look like. It'll look like this right here. You just press start. So now I'm going to show you Monkey Island 3. The next thing you want to do after you copied all your files from the Monkey Island 3 CD-ROM disk is go to where you, you stored it and click on the Monkey Island 3 folder. It should have a folder called Resource and if you click on the Resource folder you'll see that it has all the data files from 1 and 2 both CDs copied into the file. That's what you want. So you take the Monkey Island 3 CD-ROMs 1 and 2 and you copy all the files into this folder right here where it says resource. That's what you do. Now after you copied all the files into the source folder from your Monkey Island 3 CD-ROMs, both of them, this is what your startup menu should look like right here. So all you would have to do basically is just push start and this is what your start screen should look like. Curse of Monkey Island and Curse of Monkey Island Mega Monkey. You can go ahead and just push this right here and it'll start the game. And skip it. Yep. Reminds of the zombie pirate LeChuck. Get out. We're going to load a game, which I already have one in progress. I already played through the first part of it. And we'll, uh, we'll go to this one right here. You probably won't even need the CD-ROMs. Go over here. I brought you a new mug. Thanks! I'll play some of the game here. Getting the map off of Paldo's back. Here's your drink, sir. Look! Paldo! You're burning! All those mugs in the sun, and my gun is just gonna peel I really wish I didn't have to do that. Oh, yeah, you did. Well, I've got a crew, a map, a ship, and finally got a lane back. So let's say we head on to Blood Island to lift the curse and save the lane. How about it, guys? Let's get moving towards Blood Island. Let's head on out and find our fortune, guys. This might be more difficult than I first imagined. Ah, the sea. So, you can see here that I didn't even need the second CD. It just went right on into the second part of the game. I'm going to end the video right here, folks, and I hope this video helps you get the curse of monkey island up and running so game of lawn out thanks for watching and take care folks bye